the electrolyte and some pills and coffee uh, and water too. Is that alright sir? Uh, that's what we came from that anyway. Mm -hmm. What are them doing on there for? And what, love? These, you don't want them. Oh, you don't want them? Okay. That's why I put them there for. Okay. On floor, you mean? Where you fell over him twice. What? Does it matter if they're on a uh, shelf or uh, on table? What? Them cases. I don't want them, so they don't need. To, I don't want to make rubbish or whatever. Rubbish. I thought it were uh, Bridget Jones's baby. No, because I've got that, that's a copy. That one's throwing. Oh, okay. Well, can't you just give it to a charity, isn't it? No, not a copy, you can't. Oh, it's a rip off, is it? So that's the shelf for the um... mics. Mics, speakers, you mean? Speakers, there, um, whatever. You all right? Can we open up? No, last time I decorated these didn't get taken down. Right. Because I put them down. But... Oh, yeah. Let's see if I can right find them with that little scraper. I'm sure I've got one somewhere. BBC News at 11 o'clock. This is Justine Green. Derbyshire police have defended publishing drone footage of people walking in the Peak District. The force has been criticised as being heavy-handed. But Superintendent Steve Pont, who's leading Derbyshire Police's response to COVID-19, says driving to remote areas to take exercise does not count as an essential journey. The point is that the government legislation said if you go out to take exercise, you should make your time away from home as short as possible. It didn't say as short as possible unless you feel you want to go for a drive in the Peak District. The commissioner. Well, you can let stay in car, I can take him in. What's he done? Someone, someone's not got him. I have no idea. I don't know if he'll let me wipe him or not. Oh my God, Kat, what have you been doing, mate? I don't know if better are open or not. Something's had odd of him. Look at that. Don't pay it. I've got some money. Something's had odd of him. Yeah. Don't let him go out. Oh. 
Oh yeah, um, my cat, I've just noticed now, um, is on the bed and there's blood and it looks as if somebody or something has had hold of him by the head. Um, all uh, his left side of the face, it's all blood. Yes, I am. It's Wilson. Uh, Theo. I can, yes. That is fine. It's, um, it won't let me touch, but I've touched him with his fit side of his face with some toilet roll and it looks as if it's his cheek, his left cheek, but I can't tell because it's, it's all, it, some of it seems to be dried. Oh, okay then, that's lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. Quarter two. Um, Felix has just gone and cut himself to... I've lost him, I've lost him. Where's he think? Where's he gone? Oh God. Felix, I'm afraid you're gonna to have to go to the vets, mate. And uh oh my god, look at that cheek. I'll show you folks. Felix, what are you playing at, mate? Eh? That's all we need is you to have a fight. Oh god, look at him. He's had a chunk taken out of him. It's awful. Don't you look at me so proud like that? It's not you're not a jeweler scars. They're not dueling scars. God Is he here? Is he in the bedroom here? We've put him in his little box. Uh mate, and just sort you out, okay? Because that's a really bad cut, lad. <laughs>